everybody. Welcome to my home. I'm so glad you're here. Today, we're going to decorate two different spots of my house using sunflowers. Now, sunflowers are my favorite flower. I've always decorated with them since I can remember, since I was a little girl. Um, and I had my bedroom decorated at home when I was living at home with my parents. I would always have sunflowers. And that's followed me over to my home today. And I have them everywhere. Now, sunflowers can be tricky. You have to do them carefully because they can get gaudy and they can get overwhelming. So little splashes here and there, just they just bring a, a smile to my face. They just bring joy to my life. So we're going today, we're going to decorate this curio cabinet. I'm also going to take you back to my dining room table because I just like that decorating my dining room table. I have a lot of dishes that I've collected over the years and I have lots of different ways that I can show you and I wanna show you as many as I can. Now this cabinet is very old. It is probably as old <laughs> as, as long as I've been married. I've been married about 26 years, so I've had it the whole entire time. My husband put a new light in there because over the years the light went dim and we had to get a new one, but Right now, the, the shelves aren't in it because I've been cleaning it and I wanted to re-stabilize um, the little pegs that hold the glass shelves up. So I'm waiting on that to dry and we're going to put, uh, decorate it with our dishes. I've got a good little collection of sunflower dishes and this whole cabinet is going to be sunflowers. Now it is in my living room, but like I've told you before, I have a small house. I don't have a lot of room to work with, so we make do with what we have. And I'm also going to use some of these dishes to decorate the table with to show you what we can do over there. So hold tight, and I'll be right back. Now we're going to start at the dining room table because once I decorate that shelf, it's going to stay that way. I'm not going to take it down again. So as I've showed you before, I have this table runner, and it has sunflowers on it. And... It might be a little um, wild for you, I don't know, but I love it. I did get it from Ross, and um, I also have a tablecloth that matches it. You can use a neutral table runner, that's fine. That would be just as good. I'm gonna set this down. Next, I'm gonna put this wooden table runner that I use. Uh, this is just something I do, doesn't mean you have to do it. I'm gonna sit that down in the middle. It adds a little bit of height. And then the same um, chargers that we've been using before, we're going to use those again. We'll put those down. We're going to do six. And then these plates are an off-white color. You can still get these, I believe. Have you ever heard of a store called Pop Shelf? Um, it's the same type of store as Dollar General. It's the same merchandise. I believe they still have these. If you can find the Pop Shelf, go there because they have really good prices and nice home decor items. But we're gonna put these down first. And then now these dishes I got a while back from TJ Maxx. They were $3.99. I'm not sure that you can still find these. You may not be able to, but I have different sunflower dishes. You don't have to use the same ones I have. You can find your own, but these are just the ones that I have. And I'm gonna set these inside inside the larger off-white plate. And they match perfectly even though they were bought at um, separate places at separate times. Okay, and the last thing that I have, you may see it sitting back there, is, whoop, I can't get my finger right. <laughs> uh, my sunflower centerpiece. Now, let me just tell you, I made this. You can make this. It's not hard. This is the cheapest, whoop, I just dropped a piece. This is the cheapest little planter that 
Dollar General had to offer. I filled it full of um, styrofoam and I bought my flowers. It's mostly greenery, a little bit of white. These sunflowers, when you're buying your sunflowers, spend a little bit of money on them. Don't get the ones from the Dollar Tree. Get the ones from the craft store. These came from, oh, like I told you about this place, it's Carolina Pottery or Old Time, I don't know, some kind of pottery, maybe Old Time Pottery. Um, and they sell the nicer stems of sunflowers. Just upgrade your sunflowers a little bit and it'll make a big difference, okay? And this thing, I made it about three or four years ago, so it's probably getting, seen its better days. But I'm gonna put that in the middle. Let me grab this little piece that fell out. Stick it back in. I like to have little stems hanging out. Um, you know, different textures of greenery. Just play around with it. Now the rest of this stuff didn't cost a lot. Um, actually, I made a lot of sunflower um, arrangements for my daughter's wedding. Her whole wedding was sunflowers and it was beautiful. Um, so I had to go cheap. I had to go affordably, so affordable so that I could make a bunch of centerpieces. So the rest of it is not a whole lot of money. I believe they came from Walmart. But like I said, don't get the sunflowers cheap. Get them a little bit, upgrade them just a little bit and it'll make a big difference. All right, I'm gonna show you what we have. Okay, here's the table. And I did add some of my vintage candlesticks here, so. That's just me. Um, I almost want to say that I think it might look better without that sunflower table runner. I think it might even look better with the neutral one. Hold on, I'm gonna switch that out and see if that doesn't make, make it look cuter. Yep. Hold on. I like this one a lot better, so much better. It just kind of tones it down a little bit. Um, this table runner came from Hobby Lobby probably in the spring section, if I'm not mistaken, and I think they have them every year. But this is this is what you can do, very simple in just a couple minutes. Just look for some dishes that have the sunflowers on it and fix you a little centerpiece. It should be simple. Um, I think it's cute. I've had it out before. I've had it out for months at a time, so I'm not gonna keep it. I'm gonna put my other set back, but it's just something that I've done before. I just wanted to give you one more option of decorating your table. Now we're gonna go over to that china cabinet and I'm gonna show you how to use the rest of your dishes. Okay, here's a quick overview of the curio cabinet. Like I said, it is at the very least 25 years old. I'm sure everybody's mom has one of these in their house because at one time, um, that's where you put all your goodies. But I'm gonna use it to house all of my plates and here are they are. These are the ones from the table that I just showed you. These are bowls right here. These are, they're just a larger size plate. And then these two right here are just smaller plates. And th these over here are just plain white that I just mix in. And then I've got um, a little bit of my, um, depression glass here and over here and we're gonna set it up so i'm gonna set you up so you so you can watch and then i'll get it lickety split it won't take long okay at all. so i was getting ready to set the camera up and i realized that there's mirrors back here we're not going to do that because then you can see exactly how i have things rigged to film and that's a little bit too much for even me to show just yet. So I'm gonna set this up one-handed and do it that way and it should be fine. Um, it'll be all right, we'll figure we're it out. To start out, we've got three plate racks here on the top shelf. And I thought about turning this light off. I'm not sure if it's gonna look better, if you'll be able to see better with it on or off. It's a pretty gloomy day. I'm gonna keep it off for now. <clears throat> and turn it back on if it gets too okay, dark. So what we did is we put the plain white dish in the back and then a smaller dish in the front. They're in the same plate rack and then 
two on each side, one on each side. Okay, second row, we've got three little plate stands there, and we're going to add, let's see, a bowl. Another bowl. And a big plate. You guys, this is dangerous. I'm gonna break something. <laughs> Hold on, we got it. Okay, there we go. All right, there you go. So far, there's our sunflower curio cabinet. Next, the shelf. next shelf, I just have those three plain white plates there, and I've put my um, plate racks up, and they're going to be ready for the dishes. This one's going to go on top of those three plates, and then we've got one here. and one here. All right, that's the third shelf. We have one more to go. Okay, this is gonna be the last one and it's kind of like for leftover um, pieces. So, we're going to put, I'm rattling over here, just ignore me. Um, we're gonna put the remainder of these plates here we've used one there and then we're going to put the remainder of this plate here because I had six of those and I think I'm going to sit these bowls because I really love these bowls I should be able to see them so we're going to sit those there and then we're going to put a plate in either corner here one here and one over here And mm, that's not right. I need one more plate. I had to do that a different way. So I only have one plate mm. in the center, one plate on either side. That's the M the mirror back there. And then we're gonna put these plates back down and the bowls right there. And that's it. That's what it's gonna look like. All right, okay, let me get here up. Here it is. I'm not gonna turn the light on because I believe you can see pretty well. I think the light will only keep you from seeing. The only other thing that I'm gonna add in here um, are some pieces of my um, amber glass. No, um, sorry, depression glass. And I'm just gonna put them in random places here in the front and, and adjust that. So I'm gonna do that, but there is another idea for you to use some flowers in your home the chair actually sits in front of this, so it's not going to be on full display, unfortunately, but like I told you, I do have a small house, but I do love this display. I love these plates. I'm so excited that I can use all of them because I've been collecting them for a while. I have random ones stuck throughout the house. Um, I'll show you eventually, but um, these are the ones that I, I didn't have a place for, so I was really excited to, to find a place to put them all. All right, I believe that's going to be it for today. I appreciate you watching. I hope you like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. See you later. Bye.